Mike's not on. the outstanding work of our colleagues <clears throat> who through their extraordinary actions are making a difference at Long Beach City College. And we also honor those that through their many years of dedicated service have transformed this institution to what it is today, a nationally recognized institution of higher education. We are fortunate, I consider myself very lucky, we work in a phenomenal profession, and that is of education. No matter what you job you do at the college, this enterprise is about helping others succeed in their education, and ultimately about improving the lives of others. Imagine the magical powers we all have in improving the lives of others by the actions that we take to transform others for the better and ultimately to transform our society. It's a tremendous responsibility, but it is a special gift as well. Again, as I say, we are lucky. Our awardees today have taken that gift to heart and it is through their actions hard work and perseverance that they are making a difference here at Long Beach City College. I know that there are many unsung heroes in this crowd today, but someday your day will come as well. But we want to thank you for all the work that you do every day to make the lives of our students better. We could not do it without you. We guarantee you that. And so we appreciate you for everything that you do every day on behalf of not only the students, but Long Beach City College, the staff around you, and our community at large. With that, let us begin our celebration. And let us kick it off with the honoring of our outstanding colleagues. So at this moment, I would like to introduce our Dean, Paul Creason, who is the Dean of Health Sciences and Math. He will introduce our outstanding colleagues. Welcome, everyone. Good morning, everybody. You ready to have some fun? Yeah. We are here to celebrate today. Uh, a lot of excellence on our campus. And one of the highlights of, of, the, of this uh, celebration today is our outstanding colleague. Um, the Outstanding Colleague Award has been around since 1984. And um, we've been, been honoring different staff members on this campus for many, many years for the excellent work that we do to help our students to succeed here at Long Beach City College. Um, the process is that you, their colleagues, nominate people on this campus who you think are doing an extraordinary job. And you know, that's one of the best honors that you can get. When your colleagues look around and they recognize what you do on this campus, day in and day out, to help the, the culture, the community, and most importantly, our students. So, so that's quite an honor. Um, those nominations go to what we call the Renewal Group. And the Renewal Group has been around much longer than, than many of us have been here. Um, and the whole focus was, was ordinarily to, to kind of have social events and, and to kind of bring the campus together. And it, it, the main focus of it has been honoring our outstanding colleagues. So a group of us have, have gotten together and we've taken a look at the many nominations that have come through and, and made a selection of of those, the applications and, and the, the nominees that were we deem to be the most outstanding. I want to recognize that renewal group. And I am the, the chair of it. And uh, we've got the, the Lauras, Laura Rontala and Laura Compion. They're in the back there. Uh, 
Camille Bolton, who's right over here. Uh, Corrine Magdaleno, I didn't see Corrine yet, but she's a big part of our, of our committee. Uh, Jennifer Music, who's in the back running the table. Hi, Jennifer. Teaches in our health department. And Cece Sadler, who is our, our newest member, and Cece's right here. So today is a day of celebration, and it's a day to recognize the hard work that we do for our students. Next week, we'll be honoring our graduates. This week, we celebrate those who have gone the extra mile to help our graduates to be successful in everything that they do. But before I bring up the, the, the winners of the Outstanding Colleague Award, there were many people on campus that were, were nominated for this award. And there's many people that are here in the audience today that are former recipients of our Outstanding Colleague Award, those that work here now, those that worked here before. And if you have ever received the Outstanding Colleague Award, I'd like for you to please stand and be recognized. This year, one of the things that we are go going to do is we're going to let you know about everybody that was nominated for, for this award. And I think I have uh, that coming up on the screen. Here we go. So Debbie Beitler, Scott Breckner, Sam Chow, Kathy Doles, Andy Dorfman, Kathy Each, Janet Falcon, Jerry Florence, Anne Marie Gable, Deborah Garcia, Jennifer Gomez, David Goto, Karen Harada, Hassam Kashu, May Lamb, Ruben Page, Kimberly Quiros, Sonia Verduzco, and Leon Vo. Let's give them all a round of applause. Every one of those uh, persons g got an email from me as the chair congratulating them, and I, of course I copied their boss so that they knew that they had been acknowledged by their colleagues. And we have a certificate for each of them um, that, that is available at the conclusion of the ceremony, and it, it honors them for being nominated this year. So we want to congratulate that group. All right, so now we are going to move into who are our outstanding colleagues. And the first person that I'm going to bring up today is Scott Breckner. And I've known Scott for over 20 years and I just learned how to say his name properly. <laughs> he said it's like breakfast. So those of you that have been calling him Bruckner for all these years, <laughs> you learn something every day, especially on a college campus. Scott started working at the college as a student aide in 1978. Then after 18 years of part-time teaching, he is now finishing his 18th year full-time, all teaching Learn 11. The wonderful study skills course that is taught through the Learning and Academic Resources Department. So for Scott, that's a total of 36 years teaching here at Long Beach City College. Now you'll notice that when I introduce some of the other outstanding colleagues, I kind of sent them some questions that I wanted them to tell me what was the best thing, you know, who was the most supportive. And you'll hear me talk about those things when I bring up the other nominees. But when I sent it to Scott, he said, you know, I've already incorporated a lot of this into my speech, so I'm ready to go. And I said, excellent. So, <laughs> so with that, Scott's got it handled, and I'm just going to bring him up for, for his, his uh, award. And Coach Vinoki, come on up. Good morning, everyone. Several weeks ago, I was minding my own business. 
walking back to my office and I heard my name called and turned and I saw President Oakley standing there, smiling, holding three balloons and a mug full of candy. <laughs> and I have to tell you that at first I had this strange little flash just for a couple seconds and it was this. Is this now how the college is informing long-term faculty members that it's about time to <laughs> hang it up. I'm not quite ready for that yet, though close, but I thought, you know, retirement, gold watch, something that would be nice, but I'm an appreciative person, so three balloons and a mug full of candy, <laughs> thank you. Okay. And then he happened to tell me why he was there. And I was shocked, and I'm still shocked. I will probably always be shocked with this honor. Uh, I'm very appreciative, but amazed at the same time. Um, I want to begin my thank yous by thanking the Lord. Um, there's nothing in me that people see that is good or positive or encouraging that doesn't come from my relationship with Him and the strength and the grace that He gives me every day. Now. Almost four decades ago, I met someone on campus in the L building who would change my life in incredibly positive ways forever, and that's my wife, Cynthia. And I was going to have you stand up for what I'm about to say, but I want to remain married, so um, <laughs> you could stay down. I just want to let you know publicly that I can't conceive of having gone through life without you, um, love you more than I can express, and I look forward to growing older with you <laughs> in the years to come. Both of my daughters are here also, and uh, I'm grateful that you were able to be here. So Jessica and Jennifer, I wanted to let you know publicly that um, before you were both born, I tried to imagine what it would be like to be like a dad and what you would be like and how you would turn out. And both of you have exceeded my wildest expectations. Um, I love you both very much and I am extremely honored to be your dad. I also want to thank two people who are not here. My son-in-law, John, and my granddaughter. I love to hear that. My granddaughter, Harper, much love to them. Uh, a few more thank yous. Um, my coworkers, both those who have come back today who have retired and those who are current, um, other people might tell you this, but ours is the best department on the campus by far. <laughs> people I work with are incredibly nice and have as their number one goal helping students to become more successful. That's all we care about as a group and it makes it a wonderful place to work. I also wanted to thank others at the college that I've worked with over the years, especially Fred Rosmanek and Jerome Thomas, who worked so hard to uh, produce the study skills workshop videos and get those on YouTube, and then they turned into a monster. So thank you very much for those. And then um, I also wanted to thank my students. I've had thousands of students over the years, and so many of them have been hardworking and respectful and hungry to learn and apply what I had to teach them, and it doesn't get much better than that. And finally, I uh, wanted to thank the Renewal Group. Um, it's amazing that all the work you do behind the scenes and produce something like this is wonderful. Thank you all. Our next outstanding colleague is Kathy Doles. Kathy's doing her best to hold it together. <laughs> See how this goes. Kathy started working at Long Beach City College in 2000 as a temporary registration worker, and in 2004, she became a permanent employee as an office assistant in student health services. She was in that position for eight months, and in 2005, she began her current position as A&R Tech II for enrollment services. Kathy has two grown children, Rachel, who is an English instructor at Cal State Channel Islands, 
and Eric, who works for an environmental company in Long Beach. He is also an LBCC graduate. <laughs> Kathy also has a grandson, Liam, who is six and another one on the way. All right. <laughs> Guess we don't have to ask her what she does on her free time. Um, she received her degree at LBCC and has been part of the family here since 1984 when she first started taking classes here. Uh, when asked what she loves about her job, she said, hands down, it's the students. Her favorite part of her job is helping, helping our students with their journey to higher education. It's especially awesome when they share their stories along the way and come back to say thank you, she says. What does she love about LBCC, the students and the lifelong friends she's made my, while working here? And among her biggest supporters has been her significant other, Mike Barong, who also works here, as you all know. Her parents, her children, and her amazing friends. Uh, this is the advice that Kathy would give to a new LBCC employee. Get to know someone in every department. Be an advocate for students. And when faced with challenges, never give up. Um, remember, we are part of a team at LBCC. And our goal is to help students achieve their dreams. For some students, it's easier. For others, it's very challenging. So always be mindful of this and let them know you are here to help them reach their goals. Well done, Kathy. She's also grateful to be part of the LBCC family and believes we all have the opportunity to make a difference in the lives of our students. Something as simple as a smile can make a huge difference. And I think that right there sums up Kathy perfectly, who is, has an infectious smile and ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask Kathy Doles to come up. I got your speech already. I know, I'm really nervous. Um, but thank you, Paul, for that nice introduction. I might be repeating myself a little bit, so if I do, I apologize ahead of time. But this will be really quick. Oh, my glasses. I lost my other glasses, so I'm using readers that one of my student assistants kindly gave me. So, Thank you, Carol. I am both humbled and honored to be recognized by my colleagues, and I'd like to thank those of you who nominated me for this award. I'd also like to thank the Renewal Group for choosing me as one of the four most incredibly outstanding colleagues I've had a pleasure to work with over the many years I've been here. I just want to share a quick story with you about me as a former student and as I said before. In 1984, I was a bright-eyed young girl with hopes of a college education. The very first day I drove up to the LAC campus, my first goal was to find a parking place. <laughs> this proved to be a very daunting task as I drove around for several minutes before securing a spot on Clark Avenue, somewhere between Lou Davis Drive and Conant. And I lost my spot, I apologize. <laughs> anyway, I, I made my long walk towards campus and the, first, the closer I got to campus, the more nervous I got. I actually turned around and walked back to my car. And as I was walking back to my car, a friend of mine, I saw a familiar smile, uh, a friend of mine from high school. And I told him, I'm so nervous, I can't do this. I can't do this. And he says, yes, you can. He took my hand. He walked me back to campus. And that was the beginning of my story here at LBCC. Here I am, close to 30 years later, standing up here. Um, working with students who so like myself when I was younger just need an additional word of encouragement. Or some of the men that help me hand to help guide them through their educational experience. It's amazing to me that I'm standing here among all of these wonderful people who I hold in such high regard and such high esteem and who on a daily basis when I ask them to do something or need help with something to help a student, they do not hesitate to help me help our students. And I'm going to just get rid of the speech and kind of wing it now because I, got, I lost my spot. 
But I'm telling you, I, I, my, my children couldn't be here today because of work obligations and family obligations, but they've taught me everything I've learned my whole entire life. They've taught me to be a better person. They've taught me to be kind. They've taught me to be an amazing colleague and a good friend. And there are so many people here I, I could thank for this award, and I just don't feel worthy of this award because I feel like I'm receiving this recognition for something I do every day that I love to do. And our students are what, who inspire me at this college. They're my inspiration to do what I do every day. And that's more meaningful to me than anything. And thank you, President Oakley, for everything that you do for our students. And thank you to my managers for helping me grow. And to my amazing friends, my best friend, Audrey, Roberta, Carol, Rochner, thank you for flying in from Hawaii this morning and coming straight here to see me receive this award. Thank you to my parents for setting a shining example, a beautiful example of love and kindness and how we should all be. And very importantly, thank you to um, Michael Barong, my partner in life. You are a huge asset to this college and the most genuine, loving person that I know. And Long Beach City College has not, not only brought me my associate's degree and all these amazing people, but it's also brought me the love of my life. Um, and amen, yeah, amen. And <laughs> I, it was very hard to follow Scott because that was the most tear-driven, beautiful sentiment. I was sitting in my seat crying. You know, my, the tears were coming down, which isn't unusual for me because I cry a lot. Um, and I just so appreciate, appreciated what you said because our family is so important. And this year, to me, Long Beach City College is my family. And I'm proud to be part of the moment services, I'm proud to be a part of this college, and I thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for this, this award that everyone here is so worthy of, not only me, but everybody here. So thank you. Thank you for letting me talk and ramble. Every year when we have this award, you see humility, and you, you hear family, and that's really kind of what I see that comes out of this uh, ceremony every year, and, and it's really great to introduce our next outstanding colleague and family member, Janet Falcon. Janet, like any good administrative assistant, gave me a perfect bulleted list of my questions. <laughs> so this may go quickly because it's so well organized. <laughs> Janet has lived in Lakewood and Long Beach her entire life. She's married to Hiram, and she told me that it's pronounced hi and rum in the response. So Hiram, I got it right. Recently, she celebrated her 22nd wedding anniversary. Congratulations, Janet. They have two children, Courtney, 21, who will be a senior in college next year, and Tanner, 17, who will be a senior at Bosco High School and plays on the football team, for those of you who know Bosco High School and their excellent football team. A fun fact, and you guys can tease her about this later, she was once photographed for to be on the box of the Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Pretty wholesome. <laughs> Janet is an executive assistant for the Senior Vice President of Administrative Services, Anne Marie Gable. <laughs> well, we know who nominated you. When asked what she loves about her job, of course she said the people, and what she loves about LBCC, the community, and Janet's biggest supporters, of course, have been her husband and her children. Her advice to a new LBCC employee is, meet a lot of people on campus and don't be afraid to ask questions. That's how you get things done around here in this family community. Ladies and gentlemen, Janet Falcon. Good morning. Good morning. President Oakley, Renewal Group, 
colleagues, family, and friends. Thank you very much for this tremendous honor of being just one of the acknowledged outstanding colleagues for 2016. It only seems like yesterday I was in the basement of Building E picking out my classes to attend Long Beach City College. Little did I know that the classes I chose would lead me to where I am here today. In ninth grade, I took a career placement test, and believe it or not, my test revealed I would be good as a secretary. <laughs> when I started college, I enrolled in classes I enjoyed, typing, word processing on display right, <laughs> business calculators, yes, a whole semester on business calculators, <laughs> even shorthand, and of course, a little bit of math, English, and science. It was during that time that I met Dr. Rittman and Dr. Gleason. Dr. Rittman, a mentor to me, who guided me and showed me, among other things, that the most important tool in the office is a paper clip. <laughs> it can be used for just about anything. <laughs> she watched me grow and taught me the foundation of being a good secretary. She even nominated me for the California Business Education Association Outstanding Business Student Contest. If it wasn't for her last minute lesson on economics on the way to the test, I don't think I would have won. <laughs> I thank her for her kindness and her mentorship. Living in the halls of Building M, I was fortunate to become the student assistant for Dr. Gleason when he was the department chair for the business division. He taught me many things, including where I came from in Ireland, as my maiden name is Kelly. I used to hand type his business law tests and take them to duplicating where Gene Carbonero used to run all the big machines. <laughs> Dr. Gleason and I, Dr. Gleason said I could never take his class because I knew all the answers. <laughs> he had also helped me get a position as business secretary in the business division. I worked with Judy Byerly at the time. Fortunately, when I was hired in 2010, I was able to thank Dr. Gleason for all he had done for me. Dr. Gleason had also suggested I interview for a secretarial position at then the Long Beach School Employees Federal Credit Union, today known as LBS Financial Credit Union. I was fortunate to work for Jeff Knapper, who is now the CEO uh, of the credit union. I was his executive assistant for seven years and was able to learn from one of the best. He now sits on the finance committee for the foundation, and I am fortunate to still get to see him from time to time. It was at the credit union that I met Dr. Philpa. Little did I know that one day we would meet again in the near future. Fast forward several years later, Dr. Philpa hired me as his academic administrative assistant in 2010. Unfortunately, he decided to retire six months after I got the job. <laughs> I tried not to take it personally. <laughs> what I learned from him during those six months was immeasurable. His expertise in his field, his calm manner, and he was always available for students. He knew the reason why we are here, and I thank him for hiring me and for his leadership. Then I put my name in the hat for the executive assistant. I was very fortunate to get one of the positions offered, my next mentor in life, Anne Marie Gable. She has a brilliant mind, and I'm so fortunate to work with her. I thank her for hiring me and making it fun to come to work every day. I am proud to say I work in administrative services under her leadership. The funny thing in this story is that I get to work right next to Vicki Lurch. Our daughters went to the same school, and it was Vicki that actually told me to submit my application for a job at City College when we were working at the St. Joseph High School Carnival together. Now, my daughter works at St. Cornelius Catholic School in Vicki's old position, and Tori Ann, Vicki's daughter, works at the credit union <laughs> in, the, in the call center that I developed and trained the staff for over 22 years ago. Thank you, Vicki. Something else happened to me when I started my first semester at City College. I met my husband, Hiram. We had gone to Millican together, but it took a blind date to realize he was the surfer guy that sat in front of me in my trick class. <laughs> We've been together for over 32 years, and I wouldn't be here where I am today without his support and love for the, through the years. 
He has given me two wonderful children that I'm so proud of. I look forward to at least another 32 years by his side. The story I'm telling is one of community, the people that make up the community, the feeling of home, the sense that everyone is working together to help one another and help the students achieve their goals. While I appreciate and am humbled by this award, I can't help but think of all of us that work together as a team, as a community. For without the community, my accomplishments and work would not amount to much. It is the community that brings us together and gets the job done. I am very grateful for the community I work with. To the other outstanding colleagues, Kathy, Ruben, Scott, it is a privilege to stand here with you. I admire you for your work that you've done here at the college. Imagine my surprise when I received a text from Anne Marie several weeks ago saying, when are you coming back? I need you here. <laughs> Nervously, rushing back to the office, not sure of what's going on, I found a lot of people talking about how President Oakley was walking around in a skirt <laughs> as part of Sexual Assault Awareness Month and showing me pictures as proof that it happened. With my mind, <laughs> With my mind trying to process everything, President Oakley then came up to me saying there was a problem with Spring Olympics. Noticing that Fred was filming all of this, I was a little nervous. Never would I have imagined President Oakley would then tell me I was one of the outstanding colleagues for 2016. Boy, was I was relieved there wasn't a problem with Spring Olympics. <laughs> Thank you very much for this special recognition. Okay, so our next um, winner is from the Rowdy Student Services area, so hold on to your hats. I'd like to introduce Ruben Page. And tell you a little bit about him before I bring him up. Rubens, mo his work ethic comes from his father who passed away in December. Something personal that we don't know about Ruben, probably some of us do, is that he enjoys visiting wineries <laughs> and drinking wine, and, and he put in parentheses, not at work. So, no wine at work, bummer. His position at LBCC is, did Janet Falcon turn this in for you? Because it's very organized as well. <laughs> Transfer coordinator and counselor, that's who he is. And he's worked at our, our college for 15 years. Uh, what a when asked what he loves about his job, he says, taking students to visit universities, seeing the light bulb go on, and that, and that they need to, on, see, wait, hold on. Seeing the light bulb go on, on they need to leave LBCC. <laughs> <laughs> and he put in parentheses, because he likes parentheses, in a positive way, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Ruben. When asked what he loves about LBCC, he said, everyone in the room. Ruben's biggest supporters have been everyone in the room. <laughs> Ruben feels that there are many other people much more worthy of this honor, but that's a theme that runs through all of our outstanding colleagues is their humility. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Ruben Page. Uh, first, I wanted to uh, start off by saying uh, that UC and CSU applications open on August 1st. I could not pass up on that. I have a captive audience and I'm being videotaped. So uh, August 1st, applications open up for our students. Um, also, I'm a little uh, jealous because all I got was a baseball cap, uh, Scott, and Janet, uh, on my assessment test, um, 
the, the number one uh, career that came up for me was priest. <laughs> so I'm constantly telling students that um, uh, I cannot absolve your sins, but I can help you transfer to UC Berkeley. <laughs> Uh, I am only up here uh, because of the outstanding people that I work with, and that's the only reason. And I'm going to give out a few shout outs now. Uh, first, there's my team. Uh, it used to be, it would have been easier to announce my team like 12 years ago because it was basically me and my admin assistant. <laughs> uh, so here's my team. Uh, my uh, career coordinator, Ruth A. Bear, who's been here for 34 years. Uh, Sonia Verdusco, Kevin Goins, Elizabeth Perez Rodriguez, they're all my PCC team. At LAC, Arletha Brooks, Judy Quilaton, Glendy Lee Nessiasup, Jennifer Zier, and finally, Jane Marie Cruz, who regularly tells me that there is no money in that line item to AT. <laughs> And also, I'd like to thank my original team, uh, the counseling team, my original family here. Um, and there are a lot of counselors that are way more deserving of uh, this than I. Folks like Alicia Andujo, Diana Ogimachi, um, Dwayne Schaefer, um, uh, lots of folks out there that really deserve to be up here. Donna LaDuff comes to mind also. She's also in the room. Um, they deserve this way more than I do. And they do a bulk of the work that makes my life a lot more easier. Also, um, I'd like to thank a few instructional faculty, folks like um, Fred Beebe, Adrian Erb, David Morse, who regularly have me in their classrooms and give up class time so I can talk to their students. And a couple of a lot of classified folks. First, uh, all of facilities, um, because I think they're... Uh, and, and I think they're very tired of me calling them up and saying, I need a table, two chairs, and a canopy immediately, <laughs> which is a regular occurrence for me, I think. And, and other folks, um, Maria, Maria Rubacava comes to mind, Corrine Magdaleno, uh, everyone on campus that helps me with transfer. So it's not just the transfer center, it's everyone on campus and everyone on, in this room. Uh, you know, when my uh, dad was with me, uh, he would say, uh, when you feel that you've accomplished something uh, great at work, think of a humbling story and then get your butt back to work. Um, <laughs> He's a man of few words and very direct. Uh, so my latest humbling story came two weeks ago at Cerritos Mall uh, because, you know, we all eventually have to walk through Cerritos Mall once in our lifetimes. Um, so I was walking through Cerritos Mall and a student ran up to me and he said, oh, can I talk to you a minute? I, I just, I just wanted to thank you so much. You know, I, I, you helped me transfer to USC, and I, I think you're great. And there I was beaming with pride, and I was like, wow, this is fantastic. I got my Wetzel Pretzel hot dog in my hand. <laughs> Students thanking me. And then he said, oh gosh, thank you so much. You're, you're, you're Mr. Pia Senor, right? Javier Via Senor. And I paused for a moment with my hot dog. And I, I looked at him and I said, Yes. Yes. I am Javier Via Senor. And I'm glad that you made it to USC, my university. Uh, because in the end, it doesn't matter who helps our students have student success or transfer, because we all do it in this room. 
It just matters that someone helps them <laughs> transfer. I've also been mistaken for Vidal Vargas, uh, Ralph Meza, Philip Huerta, uh, and the band driver. Uh, okay. So on, the, on behalf of myself and Javier Villasenor, uh, I would like to thank you for this award. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruben Page. I got some hardware up here too. I'll bring it over to you guys. They got nervous and left their medals. Um, so that concludes the award for Outstanding Colleague, but I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Uh, Ginny Baxter up. And I'd li like to acknowledge the foundation um, who has generously supported the Outstanding Colleague Award. And Ginny is going to show you a new plaque that we have that will hang somewhere on campus. It's so new, we're not quite sure yet, but it has every single Outstanding Colleague o Awardee since 1984. We will put it in a position of prominence. 